Oh, Jerry, are you listening to this? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Leo. Hello! Uncle Leo! Jerry! Uncle Leo! Hello! Hello! Jerry! Hello! Hello, Uncle Leo! Yo! Jerry, hello! Uh, Uncle Leo! Jerry, it's your Uncle Leo! Hello! Hello, Leo, you don't have to yell! <laughs> Jerry? Hello? Jerry? Hello? Jerry? Not on the phone! So now the Parks Commissioner is recommending Jeffrey for a citation. Whenever he has a problem with one of these high-powered big shots from the Parks Department, you know who he calls? Mickey Mantle? You want to hear something? <laughs> Your cousin Jeffrey is switching parks. They're transferring him to Riverside, so we'll completely revamp that operation, you understand? Yeah. He'll do in Riverside now what he did in Central Park. More money. So, that's your cousin. I got your package. How did you get my package? Leo's got your package? What should I do with it? I don't know what you should do with it. Tell him to open it. I'm not gonna treat my uncle like a bomb defusing robot. Jerry, your cousin Jeffrey's in a parks department production of the Mercado. I want you to come see it with me. Open the package, Leo. <laughs> okay. Opening! Come on in. Uh, this is Amy. Well, hello, Amy. Uncle Leo, what are you doing here? Jeffrey, we're not tonight. Oh, very convenient. I'm supposed to tape this nature show for me. He loves nature. Botany, zoology. You know, his botany teacher from college stays in close touch with him. They became friends. Uh, really? That's pretty rare. I mean, actual friends, like equals. They have dinner together. They have discussions. Uncle they have... Did he leave any tickets here for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get them. Thank you. You know Jeffrey's favorite animal? The leopard. Why is that? He likes the spots. Oh, uh, here's, the, here's the tickets. Thank you. Oh, uh, he asked me to give you a message. He said that uh, he's very sorry and uh, he hopes you forgive him. Aha, uh -huh, so it's true. You were making out with him. What are you talking about? I don't know, Jeffrey. Oh, so this is why you brought me up here. That's very convincing, but it's not going to work this time. What are you talking about? All he meant was that he was sorry that the seats aren't very good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Want to get some pizza? Nana, call me and open the ketchup bottle. Yeah, me too. Hello, Jerry. Hi, Nana. Aren't you going to kiss her hello? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, well, here's the bottle. I'll do it. What are you doing? I got it. <laughs> give it to me. Will you stop it? Jerry, would you give me the bottle? Here you go, Leo. <laughs> All right. Here. If anybody asks you where you got it, you don't know. No, that's okay. <laughs> I really don't no, need no. any money. What now. are you Thank talking you. about? No, please. I I, want... I, it's not necessary. Jerry, would you please no, take I, that? I can't. I can't take I it. I want Uncle you Leo, to have I it. I don't want to have Jerry, it. Jerry, take the money. I don't want it. About time you called your uncle. We gotta do this once a week. Once a week? <laughs> so how's Lydia? Oh, she's a real tiger. I don't know how you do it. What? Well, a man like you, limiting yourself to one woman, I don't know, it's, it's none of my business. What are you talking about? Well, look at this. I told them medium rare, it's medium. Uh, it happens. I bet that cook is an anti-Semite. He can't even see you. He has no idea who you are. They don't just overcook a hamburger, Jerry. Fine. Anyway, the point I was making before Goebbels made your hamburger here is this. A man like you could be dating women 20 years younger. Come on, Uncle Leo. I've seen the way women look at you. When's the last time you looked in the mirror? You're an Adonis. You've got beautiful features, lovely skin. You're in the prime of your life here. You should be swinging. If I were you, I'd tell this Lydia character, it's been real. 
move back into that bachelor pad and put out a sign, open for business. Believe me, I thought about it. But she is so perfect in every way. I, I can't see a flaw. Well, keep looking. I, I saw some people back there. They look yeah. like family. Is that yeah, family? Yeah, I got some family back yeah. there. Show us my family's nuts. They're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My Uncle Leo, I had lunch with him the other day. He's one of these guys that anything goes wrong in life, he blames it on anti semitism You know what I mean? The spaghetti, <laughs> not al dente, I'll cook anti-Semite. They're right there, yeah. You know, loses a bet on a horse, secretariat, anti-Semitic. <laughs> even, even the animal. The high uh. holidays in the temple, rabbi, anti-Semite. <laughs> Move back with Lydia? Come on, you're lucky to have anybody. Last week you told me I was in my prime. I should be swinging. Swinging? What are you out of your mind? Look at you, you're disgusting. You're, you're bald, you're paunchy, all kinds of sounds are emanating from your body 24 hours a day. If there's a woman that can take your presence for more than 10 consecutive seconds, you should hang on to her like grim death. Which is not far off, by the way. But she's an anti-Semite. Can you blame her? Hey, there's Leo. Oh, who's Leo? Uncle Leo. Oh, yeah, right. Uncle Leo. Forgot his first name. <laughs> Did I just see that? Well, that ought to keep you busy for a couple of days, huh? So, Leo, how's everything? You doing okay? I still have the ringing in the ears. Sounds like the phone. Yeah, yeah, but what about money? Are you strapped? Do you need a little? Are you kidding? I should be loaning you money. But I'm not. <laughs> Leo, I saw you in Brentano's yesterday. Why don't you say hello? Because you were too busy stealing a book. You still say hello? <laughs> oh, I saw you steal. Oh, they don't care. We all do it. Who, criminals? Senior citizens. No big deal. You could get arrested. Arrested? Come on! I'm an old man. I'm confused. I thought I paid for it. What's my name? Could you take me home? Yo. All right, all right, Mr. Goody Two Shoes. You made your point. Thank you. Will somebody answer that damn phone? I don't believe this. Excuse me. I wonder if you could do me a favor. My uncle's having a little problem with shoplifting. Mm -hmm. Where's your uncle? He's over there in the overcoat. If you could just kind of put a scare into him, you know, set him straight. We have a 5150 in paperbacks. All units respond. Roger, that 5150, that's, that's just a scare, Sir, right? I'm going to have to ask you to stand out of the way and let us handle this. Swarm! Swarm! <laughs> what? I'm an old man. I'm confused. You're under arrest. I just wanted you to scare him. Jerry, you ratted me out. Hello? Hello. I'm sorry. I didn't know about your past. You mean my crime of passion? <laughs> Anyone betrays me, I never forget. Uncle Leo, wait. Hello. So if you or your wife want to drop by on Wednesday, it should be ready. Your wife? Yeah. My wife. What are you talking about? Uh, I got married. You got married? I wasn't invited? Nobody sends me an invitation? Well, it was sudden. Are you ashamed of your uncle? Do I embarrass you? No, no, it was a small ceremony. Haven't I always been a good uncle? Yes, yes, you have. Who told you when you went to school that you print well? You did, you did. When he was younger, he had a beautiful penmanship. I used to encourage him to print. I'm a good printer. I remember your V. It was like a perfect triangle. Oh, that's my bus. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I sleep in my underwear and a T-shirt. It gets too hot, I just take the T-shirt off. Anyway. And then he says to me, you need any pajamas? Uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Leo. I really got to get going. Oh. Well, you got to get going, so go. We, uh, we got a big meeting with the president of NBC. Nobody got a gun to your head. Yeah, yeah. really sorry. But... Go, really, I understand. You got an appointment, go to your appointment. I'm sorry, really. You know, I know plenty of people in Hollywood, too. <laughs> sorry, really. So you found that watching a garbage can, huh? Yeah. In fact, it was right after I ran into you. Oh.
<laughs> you know, a friend of mine has a watch just like that. I'd love to replace it for him as a gift. Well, I haven't seen too many like these. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe uh, you want to sell me that one. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. I got a little proposition for you. All right, 200. But that's as high as I can go. I really think you're being unreasonable here. Jerry, I give you the watch. It's not the money. I happen to like it. Look, I happen to know how much that watch costs. It's a $60 watch. You paid $40 to get it fixed. That's $100. I'm offering you $200. I've never seen a band like this. Oh, right. $300 plus $50 for the repair. $350. That's it. You have it on you? Yeah, I think I do. This is unbelievable. What the? Uh, Uncle Leo, I just met an old acquaintance of yours. You remember Buddy? He just told me quite a story about you and Grandpa at the track. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, busted. Elaine, hello. What are you doing here? Leo, has the doctor been in yet? No, I want to ask him about my eyebrows. Okay, listen, Leo. You're hairless. You're scared. When the doctor comes in, you just let me do the talking, okay? okay. Leo, I understand you had a little mishap. It was a fireball. I never should have left him alone. And who are you? I'm his nurse, Paloma. Not my nurse. He has good days and, and bad. So what seems to be the problem? Are my eyebrows going to grow back? And he seems to have a bit of a rash. Really? Yeah. Well, there's been a bit of that going around lately. Can you excuse me a minute, Paloma? I'm just going to uh, get some ointment. I like this. This is too easy. Elaine. Shut up. I think he's on to us. Uh-huh. Elaine, what about my eyebrows? Here, here. Shh. <laughs> where's, your, uh, where's your nurse? She left. <laughs> oh, I don't need to get angry. Calm down. I am calm. Leo, I don't care for your demeanor. Demeanor? Oh, now you're just being difficult. What are you writing? <laughs> So, Your grandmother is on the line. My nana? And as we speak, she's generously writing PBS a check for $1,500. <laughs> she can't do that. She's on a very fixed income. <laughs> Stop the show! <laughs>